I think this may be the best camera bag ever invented, except one thing. This is called the tip test. There you have it. Disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Nomadic nor Peter McKinnon, although I wouldn't be opposed to it. So this is gonna be an honest review from an honest guy about honestly the best camera bag. Except one thing. You know that I used to hate camera and camera gear review videos? And now I'm doing one. I'm a hypocrite. Anyway, this is the Peter McKinnon 35 liter backpack by Nomadic. I've had this bag for a little over two years now. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite camera bags. I've taken this bag to several countries. I've thrown it down, beat it up, had water get on it, shoved it into overhead compartments, and it has withstood all of those tests. Seriously, today it still works fine. I mean, if you look closely, you can see all these almost permanent dirt spots I have on it. They, they might would come out if I actually gave it a clean, but the functionality is not affected. This bag has endured so much and remains intact. So let's talk about it. So I have a few reasons why this is my go-to camera bag for every filming trip I go on. First, as I already described, it's durability. I mean, I have put this thing through the gamut and unlike other backpacks of mine where a shoulder strap ends up tearing off or the zippers break, um, or just like water damage, the bag gets soggy. This thing has functionally not been affected at all. It works perfectly fine. Aesthetically, yes, I have these things on it, but honestly, I'm thinking about leaving them at this point because I think it kind of makes me look cooler than I am. Yeah. So these zippers are probably one of my favorite things of the bag. I mean, I could do that all day and I promise you these things will not tear. There's a, there's a certain name for these type of zippers. Um, if I find it, I'll put it below, but they essentially won't catch on the fabric, which is great when you're opening and closing it a lot to get your camera gear. For travelers, it can fit in an overhead compartment, which is a game changer, but you don't have to compromise space. The size of this bag is incredible. I am able to fit everything I would need for a filming trip plus my clothes in the front compartment. I'll show you. But before I do that, also flip it over. These comfy shoulder straps, and I can't express to you enough how important these are. When you're doing long day trips, like when I went to Kenya last year and you're lugging this heavy bag around all day, these hip straps are awesome. They can displace the weight on your back and the shoulder straps are so comfy. I mean, they're so well padded. I don't feel like they're gonna tear off the bag or tear off my shoulder. It's just awesome. Also, I totally forgot to mention any backpack now, especially when you're traveling, if, if you're getting a backpack, make sure it has this little suitcase handle sleeve. So essentially I put my bag down on the ground and when I'm rolling it, I can throw my backpack on there to give my shoulders a break. Absolute game changer. I mean, if bags don't come with this anymore, what's what's the point? water bottle compartment on this side? Or if I'm not carrying a water bottle, sometimes I'll throw my tripod in the side of here and I'll throw a clip on this bag, clip it up top. I mean, they really have thought of everything for this bag. But now we'll get inside the bag. So out here on the front, you have a compartment where you can put your keys, phone, wallet. <laughs> Remember these? What if I did the rest of the video with this on? No, gone are those days. I keep little uh, lens wipes and filter cleaners in here. The nice thing is you can also just throw your passport in the top. So when you're going through TSA, security, just grab it out real quick. On the other side, we have a laptop compartment. That's not the laptop compartment. Uh, big enough to fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro. I also like that it's really padded on the inside of where your laptop goes. I'm always worried when I throw my laptop in thin backpacks that I'm just gonna like crack it in half. Does anyone else have that feeling sometimes? Getting inside the bag, finally. So this bag comes with detachable compartments so you can customize your space. But let me just tell you what I can fit in this bag. I can fit my camera, a few lenses, a drone, 
the controller, the batteries for my cameras, sometimes a tripod, my GoPro if I need it, microphones, and sometimes when I need to, instead of putting clothes in that front pouch, I'll put my gimbal. And up here, you can put your smaller camera accessories. Maybe you got SD cards or SSDs for storage. I end up putting my detachable compartments that I haven't used up here just to keep them for trips if I need to reorganize. Another cool feature is it does have this little uh, side pouch here with easy access inside the camera bag. I don't, I don't use this that much. If I'm gonna be taking my gear out, I just take it off my shoulders to grab everything because I usually have to grab more than just my camera. Like I need my mic on it or hook it up to the tripod, whatever. Long gone are the days where I had trouble fitting my gear. I can fit everything I want into this bag. I love that I can throw my clothes in this front pouch here. Again, those zippers. Can you hear that on the microphone? <laughs> I have something in here right now. Oh, that's a rain tarp. But yeah, I mean, huge compartment here in the front. You can throw your clothes in here, a couple more little pouches. I mean, really, I can't speak highly enough about this bag, but there is one thing. As a traveler, I love wearing my backpack everywhere I go to keep all my gear with me, but I do love to keep the camera on the outside of my bag so I don't miss a shot. So one of my favorite ways to carry around a camera is one of these handy guys. This is a backpack clip the mount goes on your camera and the clip fits right in here so you can keep the camera on your shoulder super convenient i've had it on all the backpacks i've owned so here's my one complaint with the peter mckinnon bag none of these mounts fit i have yet to find a mount that can fit across these shoulder straps they're just so thick and i'm telling you i do love the comfort of these straps but it comes at a price. I know that I won't be able to carry my camera hands-free. I'm gonna have to walk around with it because I cannot fit one of these backpack clamps. For those of you who are watching, if you have suggestions on which backpack clamps will fit, please let me know. I've done a lot of research online. I can't seem to find someone who could fit it on the 35 liter. I've heard the 25 liter, it's possible. Don't know about the 35 liter though. I'd really like for there to be a fix. Um, Somebody knows a fix, just holler at your boys. That's my only complaint. Otherwise, Peter McKinnon, Nomadic, well done. Yes, this bag comes with a price, but let me tell you, it is well worth it. If you're gonna go through backpacks because shoulder straps are breaking or it just can't hold all your gear, you're gonna end up spending more than this anyway. So go ahead and invest in the Peter McKinnon bag because I've really enjoyed it. I think it can benefit anyone out there who has camera gear, who's a travel filmmaker, anything of that sort. 